my name is Katie, welcome back to my channel. I have dyed my hair grey again and I am loving it even though I've curled it absolutely awfully because I need a new pair of straighteners, my straighteners are a load of shit. Anyway, in this video I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using makeup from my collection that I think I've neglected that I just haven't used in a while or I just don't use very often and there's actually quite a lot of it so I'm going to do two videos like this. I've literally just went through all my makeup now and split it into two little categories. I did do this video once before, uh, pretty early this year and I feel like I quite liked it. Um, hopefully I'm not repeating any products that I used in that one because I think sometimes if I neglect products it's for a reason, it's because I'm not the biggest fan or because I just feel like I've got products that are better than it. So if I have repeated anything in that video then whoops but I tried to avoid it. <laughs> hopefully I have enough sunlight to film this video because I've left it really late and we all know it's getting really dark now so if my lighting starts to go kind of shit towards the end of this then sorry about that. I do have some like softbox lights but I don't know how to use them and when I first turned them on they were like blinding. I have no idea how people use them without going blind so I'll get them set up eventually though. <laughs> okay so I'm going to start with primer and I would say a primer that I neglect is the L'Oreal Nude Magique Blur Cream. Um, I probably have the first impressions using this and I remember really liking it when I first used it. It's pretty good. Um, I personally don't use primers that often to be honest just because I can never be bothered and like if I'm going to work it just it's just extra time and I would say that this just falls into the category of I just haven't used it enough quite a lot of my primers I guess I feel the same way about but this one just stood out to me as something that I have not used a lot I'm just gonna smother this all over my face and this is one of the kind of like silicone -y primers that leaves your face like really soft and smooth which I personally quite like I've tried to avoid putting that on my eyelids just because I'm going to do my eyeshadow first anyway but um, yeah I'm just going to leave that to absorb into my face whilst I do my eyeshadow it feels super soft I do really like it I have no idea if it actually makes my makeup last longer but I really like how it feels on the skin, it's just so silky and soft. So for concealers, I picked up two colour correcting um, things because I don't use these very often. These are the Max Factor CC colour correctors. One is the Correct Dark Spots Light and one is the Correct Under Eye Circles, so it's basically a light pink and a yellow one and I remember liking these but again it's just not something that I like go for that often so I could use that on my eyelids. I also picked up a completely worn off writing um, it's a collection, collection lasting perfection concealer in I can't remember the shade is it fair I don't know but um, this has just been sitting in my makeup collection for ages and for some reason my voice yeah, this has just been sitting in my makeup collection and I just haven't picked it up for some reason. I feel like this um, colour has been a bit dark for me in the past when I've used it, but um, I can't really remember if the colour's that bad. So I guess I'll try it again today and see. Um, I think I'll use the yellow colour corrector on my eyelids though to create a base for the eyeshadow we're going to use. this um new sponge this is a real techniques body sponge i thought i was getting like the face one but i accidentally got the body one and it's absolutely massive and this isn't even damp this is dry so <laughs> i don't know how this is gonna work on my face but i paid 7.99 for it so i'm gonna get as much use out of it as i can so the powder that i'm gonna use is the yeah you want to be focused cool it's the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Translucent Powder. I had first impressions of this a few months back. And um, I don't use this too often. As you can see, like, I've not hit pan on this. I normally hit pan on powders so damn fast. But um, I don't know. I just seem to remember it giving me a bit of a weird texture. I'm just looking a bit cakey. So I guess that's why I don't really use it very often. But I guess we'll use it today and see if I change my mind at all. 
So I'm just gonna set that concealer on my eyelids with this. I would say with that color corrector, you can still see my like quite prominent veins on my eyelids. So I guess the coverage isn't that good, I guess. Cause normally concealer eradicates that. So I've got a base for our eyeshadow and I thought that the palette that I would use for eyeshadow is the Make Me Up Smolder Eyeshadow Palette. Um, that is what it looks like. And this is the colour selection. Um, it is a very like kind of bluey, smoky, purpley kind of palette. I got this for Christmas last year for my mum and I just haven't really used it. I don't know, I think maybe it's just the colours aren't the kind of things I go for. But um I have used it occasionally and it seemed to be pretty pigmented so I guess I'll just make some kind of smoky bluey look with this today obviously just making this up as I go so don't expect an amazing eyeshadow look right I think I'm gonna mix these two colors here kind of like a light purple and a light kind of gray color um, I'm gonna get those two colors together and put that through my crease I'm gonna get this kind of deeper blue colour, this one here, and I'm just gonna run that through my crease as well, kind of a bit more underneath what I've done. Right, I'm gonna go for the deepest black colour right at the end here. I'm just gonna put this on the outer third of my eye and make it super smoke. go for this like matte grey colour here and I'm just going to use my finger and put that on the kind of centre part of my eyelid. Okay I'm now going to get the white glittery colour at the end here and put this one under my brow bone. Okay well that's my kind of eyeshadow look, it's just a very basic smoky eye. I honestly think the eyeshadows work pretty decently. Um, they're pretty pigmented, they blend reasonably well. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know, the colour selection's just a bit like, I mean, it's okay for every now and then, but it's just not the kind of thing I reach for on an everyday basis. And some of the shades are like really like similar looking, like there's these three shades at the end that are like almost the same colour, like there's a black and then there's like these slightly off black colours, which is a bit weird. Um, but I mean, they're pretty pigmented and um, yeah, they're nice. I mean, if you're going for like a really smoky look, I think they do the job, honestly. I think, actually I quite like this eye look. Super like grungy and smoky, yeah. It's a decent eyeshadow palette. It's just, I guess it really depends on um, what your colour preferences are. I'm going to like line my kind of lash line area and I picked out this Lord and Berry Supreme eyeliner. It's in the shade Smart Blue. This is kind of like a metallic -y blue colour and I got this in a cohorted beauty box um, a few months back and honestly I don't think I've used it since I tried it in my like testing video. Um, I don't know why, I mean there's nothing wrong with it, I guess it's just metallic-y blue colours aren't the kind of thing I go for. It is like almost black to be honest, that's what it looks like there. It's just kind of black with a blue sheen to it. Um, I think that'll go well with this look. So I'm just going to run this on my lash line. Might need to sharpen it, we'll see. cool I think I'm gonna get cotton burden smudge it a tad just realized that this eye look kind of goes with my new hair so I didn't even realize that but it works I guess um, to do my waterline I'm gonna use the Laval twist up coal eyeliner pencil in black and um, this is something I got for my like full face of Amazon um, video a few months ago and again it's just not something that I've really used that much since that video so um, I remember it being just you know pretty average black pencil I mean that's what it looks like there it's pretty pigmented so 
not really anything wrong with it, I just haven't reached for it. So I'm just going to use this to do my top and bottom water lines. pretty decent eyeliner to be honest. I think actually everything that I've used is pretty decent. I've got a bunch of mascaras here that I have not used in ages mainly because they're all kind of really dried up. <laughs> so um, I might see if I can just get anything out of these mascaras before I will inevitably have to throw them away. I might end up layering like 50 different things here. Let's try these two. Um, I've got the L'Oreal Mega Volume Miss Hippie and the L'Oreal Mega Volume Miss Baby Roll and I absolutely love these when I first got them obviously these have dried up so much so they don't quite work as well as they used to okay I'm gonna use this Miss Hippie one to start with I mean well it still does something but definitely no one knows as good as when I first got it because it used to be very good so let's add some of the Baby Roll I think I got this one afterwards, so that might mean it's slightly less dried up. Uh, let's try this Barry M Lash Vegas mascara as well. <laughs> I'm just gonna layer up like 50 mascaras here. It's gonna have to do. Um, all of these mascaras I do recommend. It's just once they dry up, they're not gonna work as well. But when I first got all three of those, I really liked them. Uh, we're just going to repeat on the other eye, the exact same three mascaras. Okie dokie, that's our eyes done for now, so we're going to move on to some base products. So um, I told you about the concealers earlier, so again I'm going to go in and use the Max Fab the Colour Correcting Sticks, just to colour correct under my foundation. Um, I will probably use the yellow under my eyes and then I'll put the pink one on any kind of like blemishes or areas on my face that I just want a bit more coverage on. But I'll start by using the yellow under my eyes. Yeah, this is not my favourite colour corrector. I much prefer the, um, the collection yellow colour corrector. Even the uh, Soap and Glory one I think works pretty well as well. Well as well. <laughs> Just quite dry in texture. Yeah, the sponge definitely doesn't work well with this concealer. Okay, I guess we'll go in with the pink one now. And just put this like all over my face. <laughs> Definitely don't blend very well, but maybe it's because I'm using the dry sponge. Maybe if I use this wet, it would blend a lot better. Probably blends with my fingers even better. Okay, well, we're colour corrected. Uh, for foundation, I'm going to use a foundation that I have not used in like bloody ages. I don't even think I used it like once after I first used it. Um, this is the Rimmel Fresher Skin Breathable Natural Finish Foundation. Mine's in shade Zero Turn Porcelain. That's what it looks like. It comes in like a pot. Um, I remember not being the biggest fan of this, like it was okay, but it just, it wasn't my thing. The colour's a little bit off, but um, oh, and I just dropped it. I've had this for like over a year, I had, I, I used this in a first impressions video that was like September of last year, so it's been over a year I've had this foundation, so it might be really like deteriorating for all I know, but I'm gonna use it anyway. It does look really gross. The colour of this is a bit off as you might be able to see. You probably can't even see on camera, it's just a bit um, orangey, I guess. Um, I'm going to use ginormous sponge to, oh my god, oh it's really cold as well. I really just don't like this foundation. I don't know if you'd be able to see it, how bad it looks on camera. It's just got really weird texture to it. Colour is really like just the wrong tone for me. Coverage is like really minimal. It just looks not good. And I mean, 
Bear in mind that obviously I've had this for a year, so the formula may have changed. It may be completely expired, but from my memory, I feel like I had the same experience when I first used this as well, so I don't know, this just isn't a good foundation in my opinion. Right, I'm gonna overcompensate with concealer, and again, this is the collection Lasting Perfection in the light shade, which I think is fair. Um, I can't remember if the colour's really bad or if it's okay, but um, I love the um, colour correctors of these, so uh, colour's a bit dark, but um, again, it could have oxidised because I've obviously had this a long time. I'm just gonna put this like everywhere on my face because the foundation just ain't doing it for me. Okay, well the concealer helped a little bit but my base still doesn't look that good to be honest. Again I'm gonna use the Maybelline powder to set this and I didn't have the best opinion on this either so I think overall this isn't gonna be the best base in the world but Nonetheless, we shall set our face using this powder. Actually, I don't think the powder looks too bad compared to the rest of the products I had on. Actually, I think it did the job pretty well. Okay, so we're going to use some cheap products now. This is part of the video where it's starting to get a bit dark outside, so the lighting's gone a bit crap but I mean you can still see me so there you go. One day I will set up my soft spot lights I promise. Okay so for bronzer I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution it's literally just called bronzer. I got this in the um, advent calendar from last year and I mean it's a fairly just you know standard bronzer it's just not something that I've reached for to be honest I just have ones that I prefer but um it doesn't look bad I honestly can't remember, it's been so long since I've used it that I can't actually remember if it is good or not. Right, I'm just gonna swell a bit of this through my cheeks and on my um, forehead. I mean, it's decent. Look a bit weird here, but I'm gonna blend it out. Blends out pretty well. Yeah, that's not bad actually. Don't mind that bronzer. I'm going with a similar theme with blush and that. This is one that I also got in the Makeup Revolution Advent Calendar. This one's called Baked Blush, Bang Bang You're Dead. It's just, again, it's something that I've just not reached for very often, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a nice, pretty baked blush color. It's actually quite pretty. Um, I'm gonna pop a bit of this into my cheeks. Got um, a bit of a highlighty tone to it as well, which I quite like. And that's actually quite a cute blush, I like that should use that more often. I've got two choices here for highlight. I'm going to kind of use both of them. I'll explain in a minute. So I've got the MUA Set and Reflect Finishing Kit, which basically it came with a powder, but I completely used up all of that. It's a pretty decent powder. But it also had this highlight in it, which is kind of like a silvery, whitey colour mixed with a goldy colour. It's quite pretty, actually. That's what it looks like. I mean, it's quite gold toned, so it is a little bit deep for my skin. But I mean, it kind of works. <laughs> and I also got this Topshop Chameleon Highlighter Mother of Pearl here as well. Which again, it's kind of the same issue in that it's a little bit dark for me. Um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. But I just haven't been using this because it's just too dark for me, <laughs> to be honest. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of mesh this colour into my like kind of bronzer. Um, and it will be like a little bit of a highlight as well. And then... I'll put some of the MUA kind of more so as like a regular highlighter. So I'm going in with this top shot one first. Just kind of a transition between a highlighter and a bronzer on my cheekbone area. And then I'm gonna go in with the MUA one and just use this as a normal highlight. I like it, it's pretty, pretty. All right, I'm gonna do some eyebrows now. Um, I thought I'd use this New Look Eyebrow Powder Pen, because again, since the first impression video I did of this, I've just not really reached for it. There's nothing wrong with it, it's not a bad product, I don't know why. Um, I just, I can't even really remember how this works, to be honest. It's like a little um, spongy applicator. Um, I have put some clear gel for my brows, I'm just gonna 
put a bit of this in him. I'm guessing the shade is dark brown. I think if you want like a really like natural, <clears throat> kind of like bushy brow, this works pretty well. If you want like a really like precise one, this isn't really going to work for that. I'm just using the little brush on the other side here. But actually I quite like this just because it is quite like natural and like just gives you a bit more colour and like thickness. The colour's pretty good for me as well. Yeah, I am not too displeased with those brows. Um, to set it, I've got the Technique Brow Gel. This is one of the products I got on my full face of Amazon um, video. It's one of the products I got for that and again it's just not something that I've used that much since that video. It is literally just a dark brown brow gel. Um, I'm just going to use this to lightly set my brows. Again, there's not really anything wrong with this product. I'm not the biggest fan of the brush. I'd rather it be longer and thinner than shorter and thick like this one is. Um, so it can come out a bit weird. Like I've already fucked that up there. But, um, I mean, it's not too bad. <laughs> a bit of a mess with that gel to be honest um might need to use the brush again okay i made them a bit of a mess but they don't look too bad just that quite like bushy look which i'm quite a fan of okay i'm gonna go back in with some more eyeshadow on my lower lash line i'll go in with the dark blue color this is one of the ones i used on my crease earlier and i'm just gonna add that to my lower lash line I'm gonna put some of the MUA highlighter into the inner corners of my eye. Okay, I'm gonna go in the same free mascara as I used, just do my lower lashes. I noticed that the um black liner <clears throat> my water lines are starting to come off a bit so I'm just gonna lay a bit more of that on okay I haven't actually thought the lip product through I completely forgot about lips so I'm just gonna have to go through my collection now and see what I've neglected I have no idea if this is gonna match the rest of my makeup or not but um, I've decided to go with the Rimmel Cape Moss this one is 107 and I think this was like a bit of a cult favourite a while ago. It's like a very kind of ready toned cherry kind of colour. Um, I've not used this in absolutely ages. Nothing wrong with it. It's a pretty decent lipstick. It's just not something I've reached for recently. So I thought I'd use this one. Um, again, I don't know if this is going to match the look. I mean, I think it kind of will because it's like a bit of a contrast between the kind of smoky eyes. And also like with my hair as well. So I'm just going to put this red lip on. Oh, I love the smell of this. Okay, so that is all the products on. Let me just clean up any mess. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm actually quite happy with it. I actually quite like this eye look. I think now that I've got grey hair, it actually works quite well. I might do some more smoky eyes. Um, and I quite like the contrast of the lip. I don't know, I think some people might not like these two together, but I quite like it. Um, I'm feeling this makeup look actually. Um, my kind of only real issue is the base. I'm not the biggest fan of the foundation, to be honest. But um, I think overall it looks okay. I actually think the powder kind of made it look a bit better, which is weird because normally I had issues with this powder making me look a bit textured and cakey. But if anything, I feel like this powder's kind of saved the pace. Um, so I don't know, I guess it just depends what products you're using with it. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy with this look. And I guess it has made me reconsider a few products I might use a bit more. I think I might use this MUA highlighter a bit more, actually. Because I think it actually has worked really well. It's really pretty. I actually do really like this. And I think I might use this eyeshadow palette more. Because I think the colours are actually really nice and the pigmentation's there the only reason i didn't really use this very much is because i wasn't sure of the colors but i'm actually kind of feeling the smoky look another thing that i think i'll use a bit more is the new look um eyebrow powder pen just because i think it actually does give a quite natural look to the brows 
And that's something that I've kind of been going for more lately, so I think I will use that one a bit more. And the bronzer worked pretty well, and I think the blush is really pretty too. The lip's pretty good, but again, it's just like red lips, they're not something that I do too often. But um, I do really like this one, it's super pretty, and I think now because it's getting near Christmas, I can maybe be a bit more adventurous with my lip choices, I guess. But um, overall, I'm really happy with this look. I think I've rediscovered a love for some of these products. Um, whereas some of them I'm just like, nah, not again. Particularly this Rimmel foundation. Just no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but um, quite a lot of these products I'm pretty happy with. And I think this look works pretty well. I'm sorry that the lighting is gone. It's like starting to get dark outside. So I don't know if you can see this all properly. But um, yeah, I think I'll try and set my softbox lights up soon. Because obviously it's winter now. So I have to start filming earlier or... <laughs> I've got to, you know, get some lighting going on here. But yes, as I said, I did pick up two bunches of makeup, so I will be doing another um, video the exact same as this, just a full face of neglected makeup. Because, I mean, my collection is absolutely massive. There's no way that I can just use all of my products on a regular basis, so there's always going to be products that I neglect. And as you know, I do, like, first impressions, like, pretty much every month, so I'm always buying new makeup. Therefore, it's just natural that things will get neglected. But um, yeah, so look forward to another one of these soon. It'll probably go up a few days after this one, depending on how lazy I am when it comes to editing. But and anyway, I'm actually really happy with this makeup look. So I hope that you like it too. And I hope maybe this inspires some people to retry some makeup that they haven't used in a long time. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling it. So thanks for watching this video. See you in my next one. Bye.